So I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to choose where I'm going to save it. And I'm going to click empty game. I'm going to make a new scene and I'm going to rename this scene to prototyping. This scene is what we're going to use for prototyping all of our features. I'm going to make a new object and I'm going to make a sprite. This sprite is going to be called player. I'm going to add an animation and I'm going to edit with Piskel. Because at this point we want to make all of the basic stuff instead of making all of the assets first. So I'm just going to fill it with a nice blue color because blue is quite nice for players. Save it and then I'm going to go into behaviors. I'm going to add a new behavior and I'm going to go to top down movement. I'm going to set the acceleration to 1500, the deceleration to 1250 and I'm going to untick rotate objects. I'm going to leave the viewpoint as top down and I'm going to click apply. Now I can drag the player into the scene and press play and now we can play. Now I'm going to make an enemy. I'm going to make a new object, make a sprite and call it enemy. I'm going to add an animation, edit with Piskel and do the same thing as before, but just with the color red. If you want, you can name it enemy up here, but it doesn't really matter because you're going to change the sprites anyway. And behaviors, I'm going to add a behavior and I'm going to search for new behaviors. We're going to search for bounce and then install in project. Now we want to add bounce to this sprite and click apply. Now we can drag the enemy into the scene, but if we play it, he currently does nothing. Let's fix this. In the events, we can make a new event, make a condition, and this is at the beginning of the scene. Okay. And for the action, we're going to type force and we're going to just add a force and this is going to be on enemy. So as an example, I'm going to put 300 on the X and zero on the Y and we're going to make this permanent. So now we want the enemy to bounce off of the edge of the screen when it hits it. The way that I do this is by creating a collision object and then putting it around the screen so that the player can't see it. But there are probably easier ways to do this. So I'm going to make a new object, make it a sprite and call it collision. I'm going to add an animation to it and edit with Piskel. This I'm going to make green and we don't need any behaviors for this. Now I can drag it in the scene and I'm going to turn on the grid for this and snap it to the grid and just put it on the edges of the screen. And so now we want the enemy to bounce every time it hits it. So go into the events, make a new events and add a condition. I'm going to go into collision between enemy and collision and add an action, go into bounce, bounce, bounce off another object, enemy and collision. Now if we play it, our enemy now bounces. So currently it's just doing left to right. And so to change this, we can add something on the Y, for example, five. And so now it goes down each time. So we can do something more significant than five like this. And so then you can increase the speed if you want. To make the player shoot the enemy, go into your scene, make a new object, make a new sprite, and call this bullets. Make an animation, edit with Piskel. I'm gonna make this yellow and we can click apply. Now I'm gonna go into the events, make a new event, add a condition, go into keyboard, key pressed space. Add an action, search for create an object, bullets. X position is going to be player dot X and Y position is going to be player dot Y. Now if we play, you can see every time we press the space bar, the bullet is made, but we want it to fire out from the player. And so I'm gonna add a trigger once to the space bar press. And now I want to add a force to this bullet. So add an action, type in force and add a force angle bullet. The angle is going to be player dot direction and the speed is going to be what you want. I'm going to put 200 and I'm going to make this a permanent. Now you can see that it's firing, but it's only firing in that one direction. So to fix this, we can go into our player, our behavior and see where it says rotate objects. We can tick this and set our rotation speed to zero. And so now it shoots out wherever, but our square also rotates. So if you don't want it to rotate, then you can go into player, edit objects and behaviors and untick allows diagonals. There you go. So now we want the enemy to die when the bullet hits it. Now you can go into your events, make a new event, add condition, go into collision, collision between the bullet and the enemy, add an action, search for delete. And we're going to delete the enemy and we're also going to delete the bullet. So now if we play, there you go, it works. So if you want your player to not go out of the screen like so, then go into the events, make a new event, add condition, search for collision again. This is going to be player and collision. Now add an action, Search for separate two objects, player and collision. Now the player cannot go out of the level. Thanks for watching this video. Hope this helped you. Have fun.